this is md atha welcome back to real life code a web development learning youtube channel for beginners if you have not yet subscribed our channel please subscribe it and press bell icon for more videos so let's start our today's lecture which is about html headings in today's lecture we will cover what are html headings why headings are important how can we write html headings in html document so first of all we will learn what are headings html headings are titles or subtitles that you want to display on a web page html headings are defined with the h1 to h6 tags h1 defines the most important heading and the h6 defines the least important headings for example you can see here open notepad plus plus create new file write html basic structure save our file with name heading or you can write html heading select the type hypertext markup language save it so this is the basic structure of html document write the title headings write the heading h1 to h6 h1 h1 headings and h6 h6 write heading save our document open our file in html doc so this is the most important and this is the least important headings as we have learned in this slides that h1 is the most important headings and h6 is the least important heading so now we will move the importance of html headings search engines use headings to index the structure and content of your web pages it is important to use headings to show the document structure don't use headings to make text big or bold so bigger html headings each html headings has a default size you can specify the heading size with style attribute and font size property for example you can see here h1 is the most important headings but you can change its size with font size property and give the value 65 pixel now we can try it in notepad plus plus so write style is equal to write the value of the style attribute and use font size property and give it value 65 pixel so if we save our document and refresh our page you can see here the size of the main heading is changed so this is the way how to change the size of the heading now we learn about html paragraph so in this lecture we also learn about what are html paragraph how to use html horizontal rule how to use html line break and how to use html pre element so start with html paragraph html paragraph always starts on a new line HTML paragraph is usually a block of text. So p tag is used to define HTML paragraph. For example, here we can see this is the p tag and this is the paragraph and this is paragraph closing tag. So we can write HTML paragraph in HTML document. For this purpose, open Notepad++, create new file, write the basic HTML structure, save our document with name HTML para. Select hypertext markup language, click save. So this is the basic structure of HTML document. Now we write a paragraph, paragraph starting tag, paragraph ending tag and write some paragraph. For instance, we write here, this is my first HTML paragraph. So save our document. If we open HTML paragraph document in a web browser, we can see this paragraph in our web browser so open html para document so this is the paragraph that we write here in paragraph tag so this is the way how to use html paragraph in our html document further you cannot be sure how html will be displayed large or small screen or resized windows will create different results with HTML, you cannot change the output by adding extra space or extra line in your HTML code. The browser will remove any extra space and extra line when the page is displayed. Now we learn here how to use HTML horizontal rule in HTML document. 
सो एच आर टैग डिफाइंस अथेमेटिक ब्रेक इन एच टी एम एल पेज एच आर एलिमेंट इज यूज टू सेपरेट कंटेंट इन एन एच टी एम एल पेज एच आर टैग इज एन एम टी टैग विच मीन्स दैट इट हैज नो एन टैग नाउ यू कैन यूज एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट हाउ टू यूज एच आर टैग आर ओरिजेंटल टैग इन एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट सो ओपन नोट पैड प्लस प्लस राइट एडिंग एच वन first heading and if we copy and paste the same we can change second heading and this is this this is my second html paragraph and use hr tag which is used to define thematic break in html page and this is the hr tag which is used for thematic break in html document so if we save our document and refresh our web page so here we can see the horizontal line so this is the horizontal rule which break the paragraph which is used for thematic break so, so this is the way how to use horizontal rule in html document now we learn about html line breaks so br element define a line break so br is used if you want a line break without starting a new paragraph the br tag is an empty tag and it has no ending tag now we learn here how to use br tag in our html document so this is the paragraph and if we want to break this line from here we write br tag here so this br tag break this line into two pieces first line is this is my second and the second line is html paragraph so if we save our document and refresh our page so you can see here the line is break into two lines because we use br tag after second so br tag break our line into two lines so this is the way how to use break element in html document now we learn about html pre element pre element defines pre formatted text for example if i want to write a poem in our html document so as you have seen that in a poem one sentence is written in one line so for this purpose we use pre element in html document the text inside a pre element is displayed in a fixed width font and it is preserves both space and line breaks for example write pre starting tag and pre ending tag if we write four lines in pre html element save our document and refresh our page so we can see here each sentence is displayed in separate line so this is the way how to use pre element if we write in a paragraph tag so you can see here if we save our document and refresh our page so you can see here all four sentence are displayed in one line so this is the paragraph element and this is the pre element so pre element display each sentence in one line so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe our channel for more videos